Hey guys, welcome to your kickboxing class for Monday, April the 27th. Warm up today is going to be hip twists. Remember the idea on hip twists is that your hips twist one way while your upper body twists the other way. So you're gonna hold your gloves chest high, elbows up. It, I think it's usually easier if you start, point your toes in one direction and then just turn your belly button in the other direction so the upper body's going the opposite way. All right, then hop and twist. So again, hip goes one way upper body goes the other way. Start slow, speed up every 15. Uh, your total warm up time is one minute. So go ahead and set your timer, get that done. All right, combo today is gonna start with two right uppercuts. So from our first angle, we'll bring that fist back, we'll twist the hips to the right, we'll drive in that first right uppercut and then the second right uppercut. Now, if you're doing the combo to the air, your fist comes straight up. If you're doing the combo to a bag, then your fist kind of drives in at a 90 degree angle. So remember the difference um, depending on how you're doing the combination. So right uppercut, right uppercut, kick on the first side from the other angle. Right uppercut, right uppercut, and kick with the other leg. Round one is two minutes to two minutes and 20 seconds. Go ahead and set your timer and kickbox through round one. Okay, for the core today, we're doing sit-ups with punches, all right? For this one, you need a pretty light dumbbell. Now, you can do this with up to 10s in each hand. Some people can probably do 15s, all right? But keep it light so that you can get more reps in. You're gonna start out on your back, knees bent, all right? Weights at the shoulders, sit up, punch with one weight, come back down, sit up, punch with the other weight. So sit up and punch followed by sit up and punch and just keep alternating as you go. The closer you can keep the weights to your shoulders when you sit up, the more pressure you're gonna put on the core. If you're letting those weights float forward, number one, you're not putting any pressure on the core. Number two, you're not gonna have as much range of motion on your punches. So keep those weights in tight, sit up, punch, down, sit up and punch. Make sure those shoulder blades go all the way down for each rep. All right, you got five rounds, beginners, 20 to 25 seconds on with 10 seconds off. More advanced guys, you can do 30 seconds on with 15 seconds off. All right, go ahead and get your timer ready and knock out that set. All right, step two of the combo is gonna be a left straight. So from the first angle, we bang out those two right uppercuts, fire off a left straight, kick with that first leg from the other angle, right upper, right upper left straight and get the other leg. All right, round two is gonna be two minutes and 30 seconds. So go ahead and set your timer, work on round two. All right, for the legs, we're gonna do squats with those same type punches that we did for the core. So you've got your two dumbbells. You're gonna squat down as deep as you can handle, keeping that back straight. At the bottom of the squat, fire off a punch straight. Notice how I'm keeping my fist shoulder high. When I come up, I'm gonna punch out straight with the other arm. So punch at the bottom, punch at the top. Punch at the bottom, punch at the top, alternating arms, all right? Then, when you go to the next set, now this time, the other arm will punch at the bottom and then the other arm punches at the top, all right? So that's your pattern. Again, five rounds, 20 to 25 seconds on with 10 seconds off for beginners and 30 and 15 for advanced guys. All right, go ahead and pause, work the legs. All right, let's see here. For the third step of the combo, we have got a right hook. So from your first angle, right upper, right upper, left straight, right hook, <clears throat> first leg kicks from the other angle, right upper, right upper, left straight, right hook, and now the other leg kicks. Now you're up to uh, two minutes and 40 seconds. Go ahead and set your timer, kickbox that round. Okay, for your push-ups today, you're doing no fingers. So the idea is when you're down in the push-up position, only the heel of your palms touches the ground. For those of you guys that have done uh, one of my self-defense classes, it's just like you're doing a palm strike to an attacker. You're pulling those fingers back, keeping them out of the way. So only the heel of the palm makes contact. So when you're down in a push-up position, if I show you from the front, when I put my hands down, I lift those fingers up 
So again, only the heel of the palm is on the ground. Then you can be on your knees, all right? You can be on your toes. And the idea is as you go down, keep those fingers from touching the ground. I'm trying to concentrate and just use my right arm so I can demonstrate some semblance of a push up for you, all right? But again, hopefully you get the idea. No fingertips on the ground at all. Only the heel of the palms touch the ground, okay? Five rounds, 20 to 25 on, 10 off for the beginners and 30 on, 15 off for more advanced guys. All right, go ahead and set your timer and work on those arms. All right, for your first weighted exercise, we are doing, ah, we're gonna work the triceps. You're gonna be on your back. Be careful how much weight you use on this. You don't wanna overdo it. You can have your feet on the ground or as always, you can lift your feet up. We're gonna start with the weights in the up position. Now you're gonna have weights in both hands, assuming you have two dumbbells, right? I'm demonstrating with one dumbbell because I can't work this left arm. The idea is to keep that elbow stationary. I'm gonna bring the cap of the dumbbell that's closest to my head, slowly bring it down till it touches the top of the shoulder and then press back up using the uh, triceps on the back of the arm. So I'm keeping this elbow stationary. Weight comes down to the top of the shoulder, control back up. Weight comes down to the top of the shoulder and control back up, all right? So that's the pattern. Now, if you don't have two dumbbells, you can always do get one arm and then when that sets over, pass it over and get the other arm, okay? Hopefully by now everybody's got two dumbbells. So uh, you got three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off if you have two dumbbells. If not, then as always do six sets of 30 seconds on each arm. All right, go ahead and pause, concentrate, work those triceps. Again, make sure you keep that a slow, steady motion. You're not going fast. Okay, step four of the combo is going to be a left hook. All right, so from our first angle, we fire off the two right uppercuts, the left straight, then we got the right hook and the left hook, kick with that first leg from the other angle. Two right uppercuts, left straight, right hook, left hook, switch those feet and kick on the other side. Round four of the combo, that's a five, <laughs> round four of the combo, you're up to two minutes and 50 seconds. All right, go ahead and pause, work that round. All right, next weighted exercise, we're gonna hit some curls and we're gonna do outside curls. So for a regular curl, right, weight stays directly out in front of the body. For an outside curl, we're gonna turn the palms out, okay? So I rotate my thumb out so that my thumb is pointed back behind me, all right? And I would do that on both sides. Now while I curl, the weights are out to the side and my palm comes up to the outside of my shoulder, slow and controlled down. So controlled up, control down, All right? So that's the idea, outside curls. If you have two dumbbells, you'll do three sets, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. If you only have one dumbbell, then well, you know what to do, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. You got a total of six rounds, All right? Adds up to three minutes, okay? Go ahead and pause, work the biceps on those outside curls. Last step of the combo. All right, we're gonna have a right straight. So we've got that double right uppercut, the left straight, right hook, left hook, right straight down the middle. Kick with that first leg from the other angle, right upper, right upper, left straight, right hook, left hook, right straight down the middle and kick on the other leg. So you know what to do on the last round. You get to choose anywhere between three minutes and three minutes and 30 seconds. Just make sure this is your max effort, all right? Punch into the air or hitting that bag. And if you're hitting to the air, I'm telling you, you can get almost as good a workout as you can hitting the bag if you make sure you move around. Don't just stand here and do everything, all right? To the same spot, jump. Switch around, all right? Stay light on those feet, stay on the balls of your feet, and you're constantly moving as you throw those punches and kicks, all right? And sometimes you'll do better than the person that stands in front of the bag and just blindly, all right? Uh, just keeps hitting the same spot and never moves an inch. So uh, if you're the bag people, don't be that person either, all right? Move around, I've been preaching this for years, okay? All right, go ahead and set your timer. Three minutes to three minutes and 30 seconds. 
bang out that last round. Okay, and your finale. Okay, we're doing a uh, ladder countdown, right? So a countdown ladder. You're gonna start with 10 old school burpees, and again, I want these to be old school burpees before uh, the sake of speed, right? So there's not that slow down at the bottom or anywhere else. So you'll do 10 old school burpees, then when you stand up, you're doing 10 kicks on each leg. Now we're keeping these um, regular round kicks just like you do in your, um, in your combos. So if you're doing the right, you'd have 10, dropping that foot down after each kick, and then crank out the 10 on the left. And of course, if you've got a bag, your own bag, or one you've borrowed from me, then do the kicks full power right onto the bag. Then you're gonna go down to nine. So nine old school burpees. Okay, nine kicks on each leg, then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all the way down to one. Okay, once you finish that last uh, kick on the opposite leg, then of course, uh, drop down on your back, 30 to 45 seconds of your favorite um, core exercise, followed by some um, light stretching and a cool down. If for some crazy reason you've forgotten what an old school burpee is, remember it's a fast burpee. Hands down, feet back, feet forward and then jump with the hands up overhead, okay? And of course, all of this is written down on the outline, all right? I uh, hope you guys enjoy the workout, and I will see you again on Tuesday.